Hello everybody, hello, hello. I hope everyone's doing well. Okay. This is supposed to be a fairly short game. From what I've heard, it's about two hours. So we'll see, we'll see. I got a bunch of like cleaning and stuff to do. I've been putting it off, but I can't anymore because uh, I have people coming over over the weekend, so. <laughs> Gotta get on it! Anyways... <laughs> I'm just gonna hit start on that. Hopefully it's not too loud. But yeah! And I also have to go out for groceries after the stream, so... Uh, we'll see. Groceries are open until 9. It's fine. We'll be fine. I have three hours. <laughs> Uh, yes, Hogwarts stream has been decided. I think we're starting it two days from now on Saturday at a respectable time for our, our, our lovely EU folk. Yes. Oh yeah, I bought donuts. Hell yeah. It's basically traditional at this point. Um... Meaning I feel bad not bringing anything. No, you can't say that. That's kind of guilt trippy. Thanks for helping paint the walls the other day. Yeah. You looked like you needed the help. I have no idea what this game is about, to be honest, though. I just really like the aesthetic of it. Besides, it's the least I could do, considering how much I've been staying here. Yeah. About that. I was wondering. Well, my flatmates have no- Oh, this is a not-so-subtle can-you-leave, isn't it? Oh god, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was getting in the way. No, it's not that. I, I was- We were wondering what you'd maybe think about moving in? Oh! Um... You don't have to decide straight away or- Oh, well, I guess I have been spending a lot of time here. Don't have to decide straight away. Yeah, yeah. Probably have to talk to my parents about it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it would save you a lot of traveling. What is their relationship? That's true. And my parents would prefer if I was around more uni folks. Are they just friends? That's the last of them. It better be. I don't want to carry another stupid pallet. Sorry for making you drag them back. I didn't think it'd be so much trouble. Hmm. Uh, still can't believe that guy tried to sell them to us. At least we got to meet that cat on the way. Yeah. Ah, the mysterious pub guardian. Yeah, what a cool little dude. So, what's next? I'll order the foam. I guess we'll stack these in the garden for now. Uh, I'm looking forward to having a sofa we can chill on. It'll be good to finally have a spare bed for friends to use. I'm looking forward to have a sofa we can chill on. Yeah. We've got a, quite a few Let's Plays to catch up on. Hey, let's go gamers. Gamers? Oh. Yeah, the Wi-Fi has been terrible in the bedroom. Y'all been gaming in the bedroom? Ooh. Hold it still. I am holding it still. Um. I wish I had my dad's workbench. Can't you mark with your pencil quicker? Mm, I wish I had my dad's workbench. Sawing over the pallets isn't ideal. All right, done. What's the shelf for again? Uh, we can stick the games on it. Oh, or, oh, was it meant to be the bookshelf? We can stick the games on it. All right, we should get one up for my DVD soon too. Yeah, I can do that. Oh? Eh? So the orange one is bow. Oh, cute. Ayo? Is his name Ayo? <laughs> Ayo and Bo? Well, sleep at your laptop again? Uh. Dazed. Uh, what? Maybe you should take your naps in the bedroom instead of in front of a screen. Dang, how does this keep happening? Well, maybe if you got some rest. What were you working on? 
trying to get this damn job application sent off. I've been trying to tie up these closing bells. I was thinking about making some Rezo prints off my old art. Mm. Let's go with... Job application? Four years university down the drain and I have no idea how I'm supposed to market myself. Oh, hitting us with a relatable right off the bat. I feel you. I'm completely worthless. I don't even feel like a person anymore. You've been staring at the screen for too long. I don't know. It's hard to focus knowing we have to move out soon. Everything just feels really flat right now. I don't... It's not just that. What? I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I feel disoriented. I'm not sure. I, why? It's like I've been following this winding path through the forest and path disappeared I guess you could say that there's so many paths and they're all overlapping it isn't clear where they lead at all at this point it's impossible to, dis to distinguish one path from another hmm I definitely think you should take a break you have been sitting there all day after all what my mother says to me all the time <laughs> you've been sitting at your desk for the whole day <laughs> I know I just don't know how, what to do with myself. I know you don't feel like going out right now, but maybe stretch your legs a little at the very least? I suppose you're right. It's time to stretch some legs. Ooh! Hey, they got a nice workbench looking place. Yo, that looks so comfy. Following instructions refer to the default controls. Any changes made to remap the controls will not be referenced. Move your cursor and click to move the character. As your character approaches certain characters and object icons, as your character approaches, certain characters and object icons will appear. Clicking on those icons will trigger interactions. Some of these interactions may change the environment, some may not. The function of these interactions may seem abstract. Try not to worry about it. Clicking a door or a door icon will take your character to a different scene. Do this enough and you should be able to gather a sense of place. Okay. Hey! Where are you sending that job application anyways? The local art shop. Trying to get a few applications done though. Thought it'd be best to have a cl job close by until we move out at least. Yo, is he working in music? Damn, he got he got them fancy equipment. Oh, I sent an application there as well, but they never got back to me. Not that you wouldn't get the job though, I'm probably just not the most ideal candidate. I mean, I'm not from here, so I guess they didn't know how long I'd still be here for. Uh, well, I won't be local for much longer anyway. If it pays well, then you could always travel from your parents? I guess so. I don't even know if I want the job. I'd probably hate retail. Ooh, retail. Retail cat stinks. Well, you won't know unless you actually do it, right? Don't give up before you've started. I guess you're right. You know I am. Alright. We go the most peaceful route. Very peaceful, peaceful. Is this my desk or his? Oh, his desk. I'm the one in music. Ugh, Ao's messy desk has really been stressing me out. I feel bad that it does. I mean, it isn't like it's their fault. Um, I used to be even worse. I could hardly see my floor during my teens, but then something changed once I, once I started going to sixth form. I guess I didn't like what the mess said about me. I started tidying up in massive fits. My dad used to laugh at the way I neatly arranged my desk. Um... It's not like it'll be an issue for much longer. You can definitely see my uh, reluctance to confront coming through very clearly here. <laughs> we got enough to worry about. Maybe if we live together again, then we can talk about it. Mm-hmm. Anything to say about your own work desk? No? Okay. Let's go then, buddy. Let's go. Ooh, I love how everything comes together. 
this is where I came out from. Why is there just a t-shirt on a radiator? Are we in a dorm? Oh, we can't go through there. Okay. No comment on it? Okay. Can I go through here? No. Alright. I guess if he is actually living in a dorm, then that's uh pretty common. Clothes everywhere, all over the place. Very university college of them. On the shelf sits boxes of teas and cereals, jars of dry dirt, and sand from an hourglasses that ran out of time. Jars of dry dirt? Why you got dry dirt in the kitchen? Why? Why is that a thing? What's going on here? You looking at the trash bin? I feel like I'm always the one emptying the bin. It's probably not actually the case though. I should empty it later. Huh, so is he living in a dorm situation or just a house that he rents with the- Oh. I don't really want to call him Ao. <laughs> oh shit, what is this? Hello? Hello? Shards of unknowable geometry float in the center of the room. Hmm. I don't remember this being here. That is a very understated reaction. <laughs> Imagine like you walk into a room, you see this floating there. I don't remember this being here. Nah, man, I would be freaking the fuck out. Wait, does Al know about this? Something about this feels... Eh? Be freaked out but low-key excited too. True, I guess? It is kind of cool. It reminds me of how they depicted AI in um in the Avengers movies. Kinda scary. You can now press the A or D keys to rotate the environment. Ah so that you can see more things. I see, I see, I see. Got it. A selection of books sits on the shelf. Uh, I'm a very bland book not to be read. Beast of the Eight Dimension. I feel like this one might be applicable. <laughs> this book is dated years back. A Korean name is scribbled inside the cover. I was really into this stuff. I've always admired their drawings of beasts. Is this Owl's room? Hmm. Oh, Owl's suitcase. Um... It won't be long after we move up before they have to start packing it again. I'd love to be able to travel more. Let's be more positive. Last year I went to Paris and stayed with a friend for the weekend. I've always felt cities were all pretty much the same, but knowing someone there helps bring out its personality. We drank cheap wine in the park, then crawled from bar to bar, accumulating friends of hers at each stop. She had work the next day, but we both ended up sleeping through that morning and afternoon. Um... I wish I could have stayed longer, it all went by so swiftly. Yep. I think you missed out on so much of the culture, not knowing the language. Besides, my mom used to teach French. I should be fluent in it. Learning anything takes so much longer for me. I feel like that'll be a big barrier when I do visit Ao in Japan. Oh, he's Japanese. How cute. I'm sure they'd appreciate me putting in the extra effort. It'd be good to be able to talk to their parents. Oh. Does that mean their name is Blue? Because Ao means blue in Japanese, right? Can I look at this? No. Alright. Doesn't look like anything else is popping up. Let's leave. Mmm. Why... Things are rotting in the kitchen. Oh, this is the view that we didn't get. Okay. From here first. 
Oh, it's just these two. Okay. Our flatmate's fruit has been rotting there for weeks. It wouldn't bother me so much if they weren't always moralizing at us. It never gets eaten. I don't know why they even buy it. Yeah. The waste bothers me a little, but it's mostly the flies that annoy me. I wish they'd at least throw it away once it starts molding. Ugh. No, 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 no. You can't do that. Can't do that. No, 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 no. I would not stand for this. Ugh. Oh. I had a, um... I had a flatmate in, uh, in post-secondary. She- I vividly remember her going out to buy groceries, coming back with, um, a bunch of bananas and fruits. Um, I specifically say bananas because it's imprinted in my mind. She put them all in the freezer and she said, oh yeah, I'm gonna make, like, smoothies. I hope, like, the noise doesn't bother you. And I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That was in September. When I moved out the next June... We were cleaning out the uh, the fridge because I like didn't want to leave it for the cleaners um, in the summer to clean up. We looked in the freezer and there were just like three blackened bananas sitting there. And the funny thing is I never heard her turn on the uh, the smoothie machine. So I have a I have a feeling that those are the same bananas from the September. Thank God they were in the freezer. There were no like. They didn't attract any bugs, but they were- eh, It was the same bananas. <laughs> it was not great. Thankfully, they were frozen. Yeah. Okay. Mm Do we speak to you? Oh, we can speak to you. Hey, Bo, guess what? That fruit still hasn't been thrown out. I can see that. I can see that. Um... Don't worry, I'll throw it up before I start cooking. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm not all... Yeah. I'm gonna go with this one, because... I don't know. It's bad, but I don't want to mess with somebody else's stuff. I don't even know why they buy it, if they're just gonna let it rot like that. Yeah, right? I feel bad letting good food go to waste. Speaking of food, is everyone still up for the barbecue tomorrow? Does she never make smoothies or just forget about those bananas and use other fruits? She- I've never heard the smoothie machine go on. Maybe she was making them while I was in class? Um, but I'm assuming that she just never made the smoothies. Yeah. Or if she did, she never used the bananas. But I- I never heard the smoothie thing go off. Liam- oh, Liam couldn't make it. Uh, the usual then. Are you sure you're still feeling up to it? You seem like you could use some rest. Um... You're not wrong, but it'd be good to see everyone. True. Actually, I've got this game I've been wanting to finish. Maybe we can play that later too. Got the day planned out, have you? Oh, ow. Have you- have you seen anything odd, like, in the bedroom? Seen what? Oh, that. I thought I'd go away eventually if we just ignored it. Is it still there? What? What a muted response. Are they referring to different things? I wonder. I... I don't think so. Then I guess it worked itself out. How are you doing, though? Feeling any better today? Uh, I think getting away from my screen helped a little bit. Okay. Hey, maybe you should ask uni folks about going to that forest. Epping forest? I guess that'd be nice. It's just difficult to motivate myself right now. Hopefully the barbecue will take our minds off things for now. Mmm. We got a barbecue set up. How fancy. Alright. This is... This is where we came in, right? Okay, I want to go outside. Outside. Oh! Oh, hold on. What is this? What is that star thing? Epping Forest. I was thinking of that. I was like, that was very close to Epping Forest. What is this? Also, hi, Spicy. Hope you're doing well. Is that a constellation of a skull in the sky? Or is that a mask? 
what's happening. Nani? Still six of no oh no. I hope you get better soon. Hot honey tea seems to help me a lot when my throat's feeling bad. I don't know if that'll help you. So many bottles. Most of these came from my last place. I'm not sure if we'll ever actually manage to drink them. Are these is, is this all alcohol? Um Maybe we'll manage to get rid of them at the barbecue. I should try to not overdo it this time, though. Oh, this time, though. I had a massive hangover after the last barbecue. We had a video shoot in the morning that we promised to do as a favor for a friend. I thought for sure I was going to vomit on the car ride there. Alrighty. Let's get out of here. But yeah, plenty of fluid seems to do good. Warm fluids. <laughs> Ooh. Yellow. Hey, Bo. How have you been doing? You been busy? Well, I don't know. There's lots to think about right now. It's nice to be out here with everyone without having to worry about assignments for once. Uh, Al told me you're planning on doing a post grad. Yeah, which I'm actually looking forward to. I'm a little reluctant to go back to uni, but it's a different school, so hopefully it'll be better. What are you going to study? Printing, which is what our school was supposed to be famous for, but facilities were never really available, so... The school that is uh, into printing, okay. Famous for printing. Fair. I still wonder where all our tuition went. In the Dean's pocket, I'm sure. Um... Isn't the college getting a new building now? Yeah, only now. Once we've left. Ooh, relatable. When I left my university the next day, they, um... Or no, not the next day, the next semester, they revamped the dorm that I was staying in, so they got a brand new kind of dorm. Ugh... <sighs> I wonder what it is they print. I think it might be alluding to like 3D printing. Maybe. Uh, I think we were all expecting a little bit more. Damn right. I came all the way from the other side of the world. The least they could do is fix the Rizograph, Rizograph printer. Interesting. Never heard of that. I don't know if that's made up. That setup though with the with the wire dangling out the window is very post post secondary. I, I feel that. Very much. Alright. Um Ooh, okay. More options. Sup, Joe. Tiff tells me you've started moving out now. I've started taking a few things back up to Finchley. You know, just books and knickknacks. It's weird seeing my old room again. It hasn't changed a bit, but everything feels so different. Man, I'm envious. I wish I could have done that as well. I lived like five and a half hours away from my home. Um, I know what you mean. I don't feel ready to go back home either. Yeah, it's like this carbon print of who you were. Hmm, I suppose it's something like that. I really don't know what I'm going to do after all this. I haven't really considered what's next. If I'm honest, this year especially has really burnt me out. I think we all need a break. Awa and I have been working non-stop until now. With the dissertation at the beginning of the year and my crons, I don't think I've had a full night sleep in over a year. Oh lord. Poor guy. You've been losing sleep. I don't know, Joe. That sounds bad? Hmm. I think I'm really going to miss this. Barbecues. Well, being with friends. Um, I'm sure we'll still see each other. Yes. Oh yeah, of course. But not like this again, you know? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess we'll be much busier. Good luck to us. I feel like we're going to need it. 
Oof. Yeah. The excitement of being post-grad and then also like the panic of post-grad. Not knowing whether you're going to be busy at work, which is kind of sad. Um, hey, Bo, I made it. You did. And that wasn't too late. Baby steps, eh? My friends, yeah. Um, how's life back in Wimbledon? Southfields, technically. Eh, you know, it's whatever. My parents are giving me aggro. Uh, on your back about getting out of town, haven't you just got back? No rest for the wicked, eh? And I had no help. Lugged all my stuff by bus, and it's me getting lectures about responsibility. But by bus? Yeah, mate. Since I've got back, it's been nothing but get a job. R -r -r -r. Tell me about it. My dad's being very serious. He gets like that. Like, very serious adult time. This is the way the world is. Oh, oh. The relatability. Oh my god, it hurts. Oh, I know the talk. Yeah, my mom is no better. She keeps banging on about this organic food place. Go get a job there. She's so transparent, she just wants a discount. Hi, V. How goes it? I am, uh, th this game is making me re relive university thoughts. <laughs> it's supposed to be a short one, though, so we'll see how it is. It's a nice little point and click game. Hope you're doing good. Hope your work has, uh, laid off. Or not, not laid off. That's, that's a bad term. I hope it has not been as bad for you. <laughs> um... Not the first time, huh? Oh my god. Last time it was this auction house. Why would I work at an auction house? Not even a vague connection there. But she keeps buying all these creepy dolls. <laughs> not the dolls, not the dolls. No, no, not the dolls. <laughs> I don't know. Being back with my parents just ain't helping, I suppose. When did you start this game? I started it about 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Uh... What's been eating at ya? I think I told you my parents were arranged, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, so divorce was basically the second word I ever learned. Oh, yikes. Things are rough, huh? It's my dad. It doesn't help that they're two married strangers with a child, but he just doesn't talk. Dad's bearing all that inherited emotional trauma by pretending it doesn't exist. Right? I don't know. It's been rough. On top of everything else. Thanks for letting me vent. Mmm. How are those burgers coming along, Al? Uh, can I get you anything? I think there's still a few small things to bring out as long as you don't mind giving me a hand. Alright, sure thing. I was actually wondering if you wanted a drink? Oh! I'm good for now, thanks though. The burgers are almost done. I'll see you in the kitchen. Don't forget to have something to eat yourself. Are you kidding? I'd never miss out on food. Ayo, he me for real for real. Wow. Okay. Um. Should we go over here? Is this the kitchen? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We came out from here. What's up here though? I kind of want to know what's up there. Can I interact with the cat? Oh, hello. Uh, hello. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's something about the poses, but they don't look very happy. Oh, hey, Bo. Do you mind bringing out some more food? There's some halloumi on the side there. Sure thing, no problem. I can give you a hand if you need any help. Don't worry, I got it. And I'll be cheering you guys on for my train platform. Wait, what? Who is she? Is she the third flatmate? The one with the rotten stuff? Wait, are you not going to be staying much longer, train? I thought you only lived a bus ride away. I got a shift tonight. Won't be living in New Cross for much longer, though. Going for somewhere a bit more spacious for this next place. 
Yeah, your flat in New Cross is pretty tiny. I'm not sure how the two of you fit in it. Somewhere easier to find as well. I don't want to have to go outside to pick you up, pick up you lot every single time. How about it? Kicking it here until you leave, I imagine? Nah, our tenancy is ending real soon, so I'll be staying at Bo's parents' house for a bit. Oh, that's nice. Um, I'm gonna miss this place, though. I think we did all right with it. It certainly is a big improvement from the close to collapsing ceilings you had at Friary Road. I'm a little surprised that that house didn't kill you. I'm surprised I survived. I feel like I can survive a trip to the ninth circle of hell and back after experiencing that. <laughs> he folded over. <laughs> it's a shame I can't stay though. Even if I had to go to the 10th circle. I wouldn't say you'd be missing out on that much. Have you been doing all right with the whole leaving situation? You think you can come back anytime soon? Uh, hopefully I'll think, I think I'll have to see how it goes. Who knows, maybe I'll be super successful and come back with millions to spare. Oh, ain't that the dream. Don't forget me when you're rich and famous. You know, we always were an inch away from success at art markets. If you count making 60 quid tops as a success, then sure. Make sure you buy me a house when you are famous or just a smudge bar. Let's say I'll get you some fast food and we'll leave it at that. <laughs> oh dear, I meant to leave 20 minutes ago. I didn't realize we've been talking for this long. I'd probably get going. Well, good luck on your hitman job. Let me know if they're hiring. You never know, Al. The target could always be you. <laughs> Jesus. I'll see myself out. Joking about hitman jobs. Aight. Where's the halloumi? I need to bring out the cheese. God. They have halloumi at this barbecue. They're living the poshest life. Um... Can I assume that it's in the fridge? Are we on the final notice again? I thought we were top of the gas and electric. Oh, geez. We'll have to request an ending bill soon. With any luck, the gas and electric will owe us money. Oh, geez. Final notices. That's not good. Poster slowly peeling off, revealing the mold it had covered. That's kind of dark. All right. What's over here? Um, what was this? Damn. Damn, I feel this. I feel this. This bit? This bit? The power cord attached to another power cord? Ooh, yeah. I feel that. My mom told me off for the state of our wash bas basket when she visited. Well, this room in general really... Why do we even show her this room when it's probably the most uninteresting place in this flat? We really only use this room to sleep. Ayo? They sleep in the same bed? Ayo? I hadn't thought about it until now. Having a separate workspace had been so luxurious. How did I not realize until just now? You didn't have enough studio space for all of us, so Bo and I just ended up working from home. Been living like kings, weren't we? Uh, I'm really happy with how our little home studio turned out. True though, they have a really cool looking studio room. Getting everything together was a faff, but it all felt so worth it. I don't have the mind for a DIY. Having Bo had your plan really helped. It's a damn shame it only lasted for a year. Just a short while before we'll have to take it all apart. Relate to daisy chaining power cords <laughs> having it strung across the room. I think it's because it's going out the window and down to where they're barbecuing, like right out here. Um, hmm. Damn it, I managed to make myself sad again. What a complete waste of emotional energy. Uh, this is all giving me a headache. It is what it is, and I've got more important things to worry about. Stay focused, Al. Stop letting everything weigh you down. Can't keep feeling sorry for myself. True. Based. Um. Yeah, let's comment on this situation. Not the bed. The power outlets, man. What is this? Not like someone's gonna barge in and arrest me for a messy bed. Um, maybe doing it for once in my life might change my attitude. And exactly how many times have I told that to myself? 
can't change and I know it. I've always been a mess and I'll always will be. Listen, you still gotta try. I was gonna display all my figurines with bows, but kept forgetting about it. There's so much I wanted to do with this room. I hope, an I, hope I get another chance building a home with Bo. I never thought of this room as important, but we did so much talking here. My old bedroom is full of stuff, but it's gonna feel so empty. Mmm. Okay. Let's go back. Where is the halloumi? I'm gonna miss cooking meals for the both of us. Cooking for someone else just hits different. Feels euphoric when sharing a good meal that you prepared. True. Back in Japan, I got called a good housewife. What a backhanded compliment. I just enjoy doing it. Why does it have to be gendered? Uh, to hell with gender roles. Right? Yeah. Oh, you're a woman, so it's great that you enjoy cooking. Shut up. It's, a sh it's the same as drawing or playing games. It's one of the few things I'm good at. I'd like to take part in it in peace. Thank you very much. I'm just some guy living their life. I wish people would understand that. Why does everything I have to do fit into this weird binary? Yeah, just do you. You do you, boy. Alright, we went out that way. Is the halloumi in here? Or has Bo taken it out already? Oh, this wasn't an option before. The toilet. Damn. I keep forgetting to throw the finished toilet rolls in the recycling. Sir, there's four of them. How difficult is it? Why do you have a full bath running? Why does it always have to be me to do these things? Sometimes it feels like Bo and I do everything around the house. I guess everyone else probably feels the same way about something. Eh, I'll just leave it for someone else to do. Um, I guess everyone probably feels the same way about something. I'll just clean these up now. There you go. No point leaving it for someone else to do. Yes. Anything else that's interesting in here? Oh, hello. Below the surface of the water are many worlds expanding and then disappearing forever. What? Sometimes this game feels normal. Other times it feels like I'm I'm on something, you know. <laughs> like the, like this feels like a trip. <laughs> is emptied right yeah, yeah okay okay clean that up wonderful okay i guess we leave he doesn't seem to have anything to comment about so um can i go anywhere else the answer is no okay back to the kitchen that was wild all right I'm assuming that Bo has the, the cheese out. Um, takes a moment to recollect themselves, joins their friends for the rest of the barbecue. You recollect yourself. And then you join. I wanna go up there though. Upstairs, what's on the second floor? This seems so cozy though. I kinda wish my university experience was like this. Yeah, we're moving out in just under a month now. We should probably start packing soon. Our flatmates are well ahead of us. 
Um, aren't you moving out soon too, Joe? Already started. That big ass bottle of wine. That's large as shit. I've been moving stuff back to Finchley bit by bit. It's been a slow process moving stuff back to my parents' house. Might haul some more stuff tonight. I forgot just how much of a pain it is to get to and from South London. I don't envy you. I'm gonna have to get my dad to move our to help move our stuff. We have so much furniture now. Sweats nervously. <laughs> Uh, I really should have started sending things back to Tokyo, huh? Fortunately, I haven't had anything too bulky to take back. I've just been taking things back on the tube. Well, isn't it nice to live close enough to your parents' house? You can just take things back on the tube. Back on the tube. I remember moving back and forth between home and university. Mm, it was such a pain. Hey, it's the tube. I remember my first year I had um I had so many different just in case things. By the last year I, I had it was just like literally one of everything. Any anyone else want a drink? Oh, I could do it with the top up. Cheers. Tell you what though, I'm excited for when the crossrail finally gets finished. Not that we'll get any connections around here though. I don't know if folks around here even would even want a connection. You're the only person I know to get this excited about that kind of stuff. Eh. South London has always been pretty cut off from the city. Got a lot more gentrified once the overground line got an extension. Sure, there are a lot more hipster bars around Peckham now, but I heard most of the folks around Peckham wanted the extension. It was mostly middle class snobs in Camberwall that didn't want anything to change. I heard they're plan planning on tearing down the cinema. The one built into the car park? Peckhamplex? <laughs> Peckhamplex, that's so funny. Yeah, that one. I, so I can't believe it down like... What other cinema offered- what? What other cinema offers tickets for five pounds? Okay. Pretty sure they've been trying to pull down the Plex for years. The car park doesn't really get used though. Is that dinosaur bones? My internet keep being de oh no oh no internet's been pretty sus that's unfortunate there's a bar at the top right we went there during foundation year exactly why not just repurpose the rest of that building you know i heard they're repurposing some of the old underground stations now um Right about that, aren't they planning on turning them into houses? Yep, I understand that they'll be building some shops and bars too. They're planning on making it into some underground metropolis. It all sounds pretty swanky. Uh, sounds like a cool idea. But it probably feel pretty claustrophobic. A lot of local bars around here are being repurposed for housing too. Yeah, there's one around the corner from Tiff and I. At least the tube stations weren't being used, but... All the pubs disappearing just feels like such a shame. From what I've been told, there's a lot of pubs around the London area. Um, I guess they just weren't being used enough. That's because the communities who were have slowly been pushed out. I mean, I only really go to the pub with you folks. Drink? Yeah, drink. Is this alcoholism I'm hearing about? Well, it certainly feels like the end of an era. Um, who knows what's next? I imagine we all get day jobs. I know I'll be going back to working at the library. Uh, I'll probably end up doing more work with my dad. Either that or I find a proper job, which doesn't seem like it'll happen anytime soon how my applications are going um you were working with your dad during the summer right yeah i used to do the technical drawings for his previous company too before the company went under working with him is all right it just isn't my calling 
At least that would have been tan tangent. What? Tangentially art based? Related to art, I guess. The fun part is exploring all these places, seeing all these damp and dingy boiler or plant rooms, or exploring rooftops. Places most people don't pay much attention to because they never have a reason to. Sounds to me like you enjoy it? It's alright, but I don't know. Folks in that line of work tend to be... I don't know, just so blokish. I found trying to fit in exhausting. It's funny, up until now, the most any of us have had to worry about our part-time jobs and maybe council tax. Now we're expected to find proper jobs. Ugh. Don't even remind me about council tax. Sorting that out at Friary Road is such a nightmare. Man! Tax and jobs. Oh my god. So relatable. The impending doom. The sense of impending doom. As you're expected to get a job and start paying taxes. Ugh! <laughs> Hello? What's this? It's kind of unsettling, this music. Pours both herself and Bo another drink. I wonder if that weird shack in the garden is still there at Fiery Road, I mean. But the love shack? I managed to survive through that strong wind during second year. A whole lot of trees got uprooted during around Peckham. I remember there were a few blocking the roads. That wind was ridiculous. The shack seemed pretty sturdy. It's probably still there. Unless, of course, the landlord took it down. That'd be a shame. It had a kind of rustic charm to it. What is happening with this house? Ooh. Um. I know what you mean. I quite liked it, too. It did make cutting all that grass pretty difficult, though. I still don't feel like we should have had to do that. Oh, they cut the grass for their landlord? Interesting. To be fair, we could have done a better job of maintaining it. On the other hand, the landlord never made much the effort. So they, they gave you paint to put over the mold? Yikes. Jeez. Sounds like a kind of shitty landlord. like that guy though. I once gave him some tea and he stayed for two or three hours talking about seafood for some reason. The handyman? Interesting. No thanks, haven't finished this. I ended up being the last one to leave that place. It got pretty lonely towards the end. Well, at, at least when we had that barbecue. You were nice enough to keep me company after everyone had gone. Honestly, I was pretty lonely myself too. It was nice to stay over even if we were sleeping in separate rooms. Sorry for making you sleep on Joe's old bed without a blanket. <laughs> One of you folks left me frozen chicken nuggets to live on for the last few days so thanks for that too. Oh those were probably mine I must have forgotten about them. I still feel kind of bad for leaving so early. The sun woke me up at around six and I didn't want to disturb you. Come to think of it, I'm not even sure I knew which room was yours. Well, it's gotten pretty dark. Wanna head inside? It's gotten cold. I'm gonna catch the death of me. We could build a blanket for it and play some video games? Oh my god, that's so cute! In university, a blanket for it, playing video games? That sounds so cozy. Sounds good. I'll give you a hand bringing stuff inside. I'm down- Yeah! That sounds so cozy. Blanket forts. Eh? Is this a serious conversation? I'm afraid I'm gonna have to head off now. Back to Finchley tonight? Yeah, long journey on the northern line ahead of me. This was good though. Good to do another one of these. Yeah, it was good. Oh. We say goodbye to Joe. Goodbye, Joe. Oh man, the light just dims and the characters don't fade. Oh wait, no, Joe's gone. <gasps> oh, he just, he just gone. All right, I'm going upstairs. I don't know about you. I want to see what's on the second floor. But what's this? 
What's going on here? I spent so much time weeding the flower bed when I moved in. I really should have maintained it. it. Seems like there are even more weeds than before we moved in. All the flowers we planted together swallowed up by Alkanet and Enchanter's Nightshade. I like the fact that he knows what the weeds are. That's pretty crazy. I would have no idea about any of that stuff. I definitely do not have a green thumb. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Off we go. What's on the second floor? I can't believe the neighbor stole our mop. Just look at it, sitting up there. They, might have, might, they must have overheard us complaining about it at some point, right? Maybe they intended to give it back and now they've heard us badmouthing their, du their doubling down? I mean, damn. I think I preferred the constant howling of the previous neighbors. Wait, we can't go upstairs? Oh, we can't. That's upsetting. Alright. Indoors we had. Um. There's something interesting. Nope. Not on the TV. What's this? A speakers. Right. I wish the cats didn't make such a mess with their food. I'll miss them both. Does anybody want to take care of the rotting fruits? Anybody? Anywhere? Can I click on that? No. Okay. What about here? Oh, geez. I think I better leave cleaning up this mess till tomorrow morning. I should at least try to do it before our flatmates get up. At least we managed to get rid of some of those drinks. True. Maybe. Is this the way? Oh. There's something in there. Door won't budge. Maybe something on the other side got jammed under the handle. Why does that sound kind of sinister? Uh, what's this? I don't think there's anything here that actually belongs to me. Um, these games look like they're my flatmates. I've not touched my consoles in ages. I miss our dumb land parties. We never had more than two or three screens, so we'd play team split screen. <laughs> I always felt a little bad if you ended up with the old BGA monitor. Uh, I'm not sure we could do them anymore. I just don't know if I can hang out with my brother any- Oh! Family drama. He gets so mad over nothing. Like, chill. It's just a game. I know it affects Ao too. Mmm... Interesting. Oh, you have different things. You have different prompts. I can't see myself. Their mirror shows a reflection. That meant to be very deep. Oh. Is that a crack in the wall? I think there might be mice living between the tiles and the floorboards. Uh, every so often I see Luna or Autumn staring into a crack. Luna's fearsome when it comes to rodents, but Autumn's such a big baby, he'd probably be more scared than the mice. Mice are kind of cute, though. Spores have settled in the towel and have begun growing into fungi. Listen, I think it's time you clean that towel, maybe? Do you use it regularly? God, I hope not. That sounds worrying. Alright, I think I should leave before the spores settle in me. It's kinda... kinda nasty. Alright, so evidently not that way. We go back this way. Through to the other door. Where did the people go? I thought they went inside. I managed to snag this bed from my last place, as well as a few old other things. It was nice of our landlord to just let us have it. It's wild to me. 
It's wild to me to be at this point in my life where I own all this furniture. Um, I feel like it carries so much who I am, how I got here. They'll follow me no matter where I go. I just hope I can fit it all in my bedroom back at my parents' place. Yo, the landlord gave you the bed? That's pretty awesome. But also, what's wrong with it? <laughs> what's wrong with it? Oh. The, the poster portrays many beasts drawn by the digital monarch. They say this is only an eighth of the beings now known to exist. As always, Owl always wanted to publish their own bestiary. They've been drawing all kinds of creatures since forever, really. More than a couple of times they've mentioned the documentaries that their dad made them watch as a kid, both with whether reverence and fear. I can't speak today. That's okay though. This way. Out the door we go. Out the door we go. There we go. Did I miss a door? Hmm. Huh. Maybe if I walk down the hall? Hmm. I haven't left the house in a while now. Well, if only for grocery chips. Might be good to get out a bit more often. I haven't gone on a walk with Al for some, quite some time. Maybe we could go for a walk through the forest with everyone. I'm always meaning to do much more, but somehow the days just end up slipping away one by one. Relatable. Kind of relatable. Alright. Is this where everyone is? No. Oh, it's a kitty! Kitty! Hey, kitty! Getting a break from everyone, Autumn? I needed one too. You were, you never were very social. You always seem like you wanted to be around people, just not too close, eh? I can understand that. Though you never want to hang out with me, do you? I don't know why I get so upset about it. I just want to be liked. I can't force you to like me. This is stupid. I should be having fun with my friends, but I don't know how to do that, so here I am talking to you. Oh, that's so sad. Well, See you, Autumn. Mm. <gasps> I can pet the cat. I can pet the cat. We pet the cat. We always pet the cat. Wait. Attempts to pet Autumn. Leaves Autumn to his alone time. No, pet the cat. Pet the cat. Almost looking embarrassed. Okay. That's good. That's good. Just once. Just once. Okay. The top drawer is crammed with ti with tins of pineapple, all long expired and sharing the same date. That's kind of gross. Expired? Canned pineapple? That looks like a takeout box over there, too. No? Okay. Maybe not. Okay, is this one? This is one. Uh, help everyone build a blanket fort. Yeah. This blanket fort sucks. I mean, it's not really a blanket fort, but it looks very cozy at least. What part of this even resembles a fort? I didn't see anyone else helping while I was arranging it. It's fine, don't worry. Yeah, let's just play a game. Oh, this is cute. Group bonding session. What are we playing? Hold on, I think I've already got something loaded up. It's this sort of text parser game. Oh wow, people still make those? I used to play them with my dad as a kid. Yeah, but now it's like cool and punk. <laughs> if you say so. Shall we get started then? I want to play some video games. Hold on, let me just... Are we going into the game? Into the game? Oh, not quite. Okay.
among the leaves. You've been traveling through the forest for almost an hour now, and you've lost all sense of direction. You're starting to give up hope of ever finding a place to stay. Ayo? A Ayo? Oh shit, we're going into the game. <gasps> okay. Look down at your compass as if it might help you and consider your next direction. Um I'm sure we can't get lost if we just keep heading straight. It's already late. Maybe we should just head back. Let's divert from the path. I just want to get lost. Let's not get lost. I get lost enough. <laughs> the trees seem to shift as you walk by them, clearing a different path from what was initially there. A few moments pass by. In the distance, you can hear the faint sound of a telephone ringing. Off in another direction, two lights catch your eye. Perhaps from the windows of a cabin? Uh... Obviously, we can't ignore the phone. Creepy phone. Sounds good. You head towards the so source of the ringing. The trees allow you passage. By the time you reach the phone, the ringing has already stopped. Ooh, creepy. Are those cracks on the glass as well? The phone booth in front of you, completely taken over by plants, appears to not have been used in years. Ooh, looks kind of like the phone booth back by my house, back in Japan, I mean. I always pass it on the way to the convenience store. Hmm. Oh, I miss 24 hour convenience stores. Do people even use payphones anymore? I think so. Every so often I see someone use one. Wild. Okay, what now? Um. Maybe we could try and check out those lights we saw earlier. I think I see a phone book. Yeah. You pick up the receiver. Silence. Ugh, it's not working. Let's head somewhere else. Oh. Trees sinking into the ground, okay. You keep walking, but every step feels just like the same as last. Eventually, the foliage shifts, splitting into two paths. The left heading down towards what you assume to be a cave. The right sneaking up towards what appears to be a street. Um. Let's check out a cave. Aren't we supposed to find somewhere to stay? I don't know if we can just live in a cave. Sure we can. Cave time. Ooh. Oh, looks cool. Upon reaching the cave, you notice an elevator, leading all the way down to the lower depths. Maybe try pressing the button? Whoa, should we take it down? Yeah, let's take it down. As you approach the elevator, it pings and the door slides down. It slides open. grinds to a halt and the doors slide open once more. Ooh. You walk down a short corridor and into an open door on your right. As you walk down some stairs, you notice a woman. Uh... Ooh, cool. Finally someone we can talk to. Wait. 
Can we talk to her? Oh yeah, we should be able to. Hold on. Type something into the keyboard. <laughs> Yellow. You approach the woman, but she interjects before you get the chance to speak. I'm sorry, but there's no vacancies. What? You're looking for a place to stay, right? I'm afraid all the classrooms are taken. Typical in it. <laughs> Wait, classrooms? Sorry, this is a school? Sixth form. Where did you think we were? Um. Looks like some sort of factory. Looks like the plant room. Hmm. That place was a sixth form too. I'm not sure, but this is a plant room, right? Huh. Know much about engineering? These are all vents for the school's air conditioning. You came here through the forest, right? Most people who come through the forest are looking for a place to stay. There was a cave and a lift. I, I don't. So, they're renting out the classrooms. I thought so. Like I said, most people who come through the forest are looking for a place to stay. And yep, they're letting. Only during the summer, though. Still uses classes the rest of the year. That hardly seems worth it. True. So, who can afford to rent a proper place these days? We get a lot of drifters. Uh, I don't think I could even afford to study again. <laughs> oh! Feel that. I'm working a part time job as well as freelance work. Now I'm about to start studying again. Hmm. I wish I had that kind of energy. Yup. I don't think I could ever go back to school. That's, that's kind of crazy. Oh, um, what are you gonna do after summer? No, no, I live here. Oh, right. Wait, sorry, in the plant room? They're renting out that too? No, I know the caretaker. It's just a temporary thing. It was a temporary thing. Well, at least Friary Road wasn't this bad. What are you studying? Oh, um, music? Music? Sorry, yeah, I was studying a couple of years ago, but I want to do more, uh, interactive stuff and things. Oh, right. You like theater? Um, I remember having to do little school productions. My dad told me he had to play a tree once. Oh, I also played a tree. Wow, just standing there? I played one of the animals in the nativity play. The ass? You're the ass. <laughs> uh, well, I used to play for the school band, for our theater productions. I didn't really get on with people though. Don't blame you. <clears throat> Listen. I don't even know if Miguel... Right, so there's this old church. It's a gallery now. Exhibits interactive art pieces. It's called the Old Church. Wow. Creative. <laughs> it's an old church called the Old Church. Wonderful. You can get to it by playing the piano in the forest. Anyway, the guy who runs it is this really sweet old dude called Miguel. He used to have a residency program. Might still do, but I don't think he's had any in a while. Sounds kind of lonely. Yeah, truth is, I think he needs some company. I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> maybe he, maybe he's dead. <laughs> I wonder what it was called when it was new. <laughs> Imagine it was still called the old church. Actually, you know what? Esther pulls a letter out from beneath the pl plant pot and, and ex inspects it. Oh, do you want me to deliver that for you? You wouldn't mind? Oh yeah, of course not. Just a fresh quest. I'm used to those. Not at all. It's the least I could do since you're helping me out. I'm Esther, by the way. Oh, I'm Sophie. Thanks, Sophie. Esther hands the letter over to you. You will... You will give it to him, won't you? Of course, it's no trouble. Thanks, and uh, good luck with residency. Thanks. Good luck with... See you around, Sophie. <laughs> you make your way back to the elevator and ascend back up to the forest. 
All right. Sure. Back to the forest. Walking back through the forest, you can get the sense that it's somehow guiding you. Um, I think Esther was the one on the ceiling. I say on the ceiling. Probably the one near the ceiling. <laughs> the one on the ceiling makes it sound like she's kind of possessed. Uh, the trees continue to shift around you. Everything looks the same, but feels different. It's difficult to tell in the forest, but it feels, it feels like it's getting late. I love the little night lights, though. The little green ones floating around. It's very nice looking. I think we're playing as Sophie. Hey yo. Magical piano from the ground. Finally, you reach a small clearing with a piano in the middle. I guess we'll give it a go then. We haven't really got any other options. Tired, you lazily paw a random sequence into the keys. Oh? You go crazy. <laughs> oh, I wish I could relearn how to play the piano. Oh, all those years of piano lessons down the drain. A corridor builds up around you. You walk down until you reach a set of stairs. From up the stairs, you can hear a voice gently talking to itself. Um, <clears throat> um, Miguel? Oh. You startled me there, dear. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> don't worry, it's just that I haven't had any people come around here in some time. I don't have any exhibitions on. What brings you here? Uh, ask him about the residency and then give him the letter. Yes, yes. Actually, I was told you take resident artists. I'm afraid I've not had any in a while. Once I stopped being able to secure funding, I had to sell off the studio space. It's the only way I could keep this place going. I'm sorry to have wasted your journey. Oh, okay. Well, we at least give him the letter. Ah, uh, that's okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Esther wanted me to give you this letter. Esther? Who? You give the, mic the letter to Miguel. He scans through the letter, smiles, and folds it into his pocket. Quietly to self. Ah, yes. I wish she said. Never mind. Yes, Esther. Why didn't you say that in the first place? You know, I'm sure I could sort something out. You'd still have to file in an application, but yes. Really? Thank you. It's not much, mind you. It's a pretty cramped and dingy room. Um, it's gotta be better than nothing. I'm sure I could manage. I can make anywhere feel like home. In that case, welcome to the old church. Okay. Oh jeez, is that really the time? I need to head home, but you should stay the night. Can't have you wandering about the forest this late at night. We'll pick this up tomorrow though, bright and early. Should be able to find the old camper bed. Hmm. Okay. Wait, where did Bo go? You didn't notice? They were looking pretty peaky. Yeah, they left a little while back. I think they went to bed. Oh? Bo? Everyone's gone. Huh. Huh. 
Huh. Okay. Hmm. I've collected so many sketches and records of plants, people, monsters. Each age is filled with pictures of naked and awkwardly positioned men. Ah, yes. <laughs> the real art style. Is that what they call? Real art? Real life art? I don't even remember drawing these. I'm listening. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, what's this? Is that a mirror? The mirror, covered in a thin layer of dust, remains where it was when this room used to be a bedroom. Hmm. My friends are gone. And so is Bo. The light is flashing here. I'm intrigued. Hello? I thought it was Satan for a second. I saw the horns and I was like, hello, Satan. Um. Is that its mouth? That bit there? Oh my god. How, hello? Hello? Oh, hey. Didn't know you were still here. That is not the response I was looking for. Those are teeth, but they are vertical instead of horizontal. That is cursed as shit. Thought you might have moved out already. What is this? Will you ever learn to knock? You know as well as I do, I'm here as long as you are. I'm here as long as you are. Is he part of, like, my imagination? Is it, he's, like, part of me? Ow? There's been a lot on my mind lately, all right? Give me a break for once. Oh, their eyes are also kind of turned vertically. So, what are you watching? Baseball. Um, sure. So, who's winning? We are. Now, would you very kindly leave me alone, please? Jeez, there's really no need for that kind of sass. It's not sass, you just refuse to respect my boundaries. Says you, freeloader. <clears throat> Let's be honest. You don't want me here, and I don't want you here. Yet here we are. Now get out. Alright, fine. I just wanted to let you know we're moving out soon. Like it or not, I'm going wherever you're going. Make peace with it, and leave me alone. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that this guy is part of Ow. I'm going wherever you're going. I just, I'm allowed to be worried about you, aren't I? You can cut the act. I know you don't actually care. We can't even love ourselves. You think we're capable of loving others? Don't make me laugh. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's not true at all. You say that, but you know I know you better than anyone, right? You've burdened me my whole life. Yeah, yeah, but how many people have you hurt simply by existing? Oh no, no, it's the it's the dark intrusive thoughts. Oh no, he's the dark intrusive thoughts. Get out of there, ow. Leave the room. Blaming all of your problems on people? You think it's okay just because you're sad? I'm No, no, he's the dark intrusive thoughts. You must save yourself. What do you have to say for yourself? Leave. Leave. Leave, Ow. Welcome to the Ow pity party. No one cares. Is he speaking in wingdings? Uh. I can't deal with you anymore. You get out. Oh, Ow, I think it's time to go. I think it's time to go. We go, we go, we go. We leave Mr. Negative in, in peace. Alright, where do I go? Oh. Oh. 
home. Find something interesting in there, Autumn? A mouse, maybe? Why are there suddenly emojis in the in the thing? I'm not sure how good you are at catching mice compared to your stepsister. Not judging you for a slow nature or anything. That's a charm of yours, and you know that. I wish you'd stop crawling on me at six in the morning to feed you, though. I'm not even your owner. You know that, right? It's not my job to feed you, quite honestly. Ah, hell, I can never say no to you when your eyes get all beady. You ought to get a bit more exercise, though. You have the same body mass as two of my cats back in Tokyo. Hey, maybe it's just fur, sir. Maybe it's just fur. I guess that's one thing to look forward to once I'm back, seeing my boys. Maybe you'd like to meet my cats someday? They're all, uh, relatively friendly. Just as long as you're pay playful, not hostile. I think you'd be fit to sumo wrestle my to my two big boys. Just as long as you don't bother the oldest one, you'll be fine. Well, I'll let you get back to hunting that mouse or whatever it is you're doing. I'm sure you don't want me babbling at you while you're concentrating. See you later then, Autumn. Hmm. Small fungi have started to claim the cracks in the walls as home. I think we leave. I'm sorry, I think we must leave. Ugh, my lips are bleeding again. Really gotta stop biting them. Oh, I just did it again. Damn it. <gasps> okay, you know what? One small pat, and then we go. And then we go. Oh, grown used to me, haven't you? All right, we go, we go, we go. We get out of this fungus-infested place. No, no, out, out, disgusting. All right. Hmm. Nope, this is where I came in from. Then this one. What's in here? Paint is peeling off the wardrobe and the original brown shades are starting to show through. Huh. Very empty. Very empty. Alright. To the last door. That's not the way I wanted to turn it. That's fine. We got there eventually. I don't really feel like going outside. I want to spend more time here. All the time that I have left, at least. Oh. Do I go out the other door? This one? Uh, and then I guess... Why can't I look at this poster now? Uh, good old elephant and castle. The first place I lived in London. Or was it? I don't remember now. Uh, never- I've moved so many times it's hard to keep track. Like that ex-old people's home in Sydneyum. That was weird. My housemates were all strangers so I never hung out with them. Hardly left my room while I was there. When I did go out, it was to go grocery shopping or to hang out here with Bo. Probably spent way more time here than I did at that house. And then I moved here. The rent was cheap, but what's the point in living somewhere without good company? Even if it was partially my fault for not being sociable. I didn't really feel like I f felt- I, I didn't really feel like I fit in with everyone anyway, be being the only East Asian in a house of so many people. I've always felt like an outcast wherever I lived, even in Japan, being half Korean. Everyone treats me like a foreigner in Japan, in Japan because of my surname. I'll get confused looks as they ask where I'm from. It's annoying, but whatever. Worse is when I get dirty looks, any facade of politeness gets thrown out the window. Uh, I know most don't have bad intentions, but it's still tiring. It's weird. I look exactly the same as everyone else. But the moment they find out what my name is, this inquisition starts up. 
It's cool if they're just curious, but even that starts to take its toll. It's the same thing with Westerners asking me why I speak English so well. Like, I'm not the only weird one here, right? Um... I mean, I wish I could speak more languages. Try get- I tried getting to know other Korean people during foundation year. First name A, surname O. It looks that way. Yeah. Um. It's kind of on me for not knowing the language. I did find a really good group of friends in the end, but silly to think that it took me a couple of years to get to that point. But no one sees me as the odd one out anymore. My uni friends really helped me with allowing myself to be myself. I felt confident for the first time in my life. I don't know how to express it, but I owe Bo so much as well. They never once judged me for who I am. Oh, that was deep. That all came from a poster. That was so deep. Oh, Cute. Bo brought this record player for my birthday. I feel pretty bad that I never got any of the electronics needed to get it working. Oh, it's literally just there for design. <laughs> um, I could wire it up once I take it home. So now that I think about it, I don't even know if I'll manage getting my records home. Hopefully I'll be able to live in Lon London again soon. I don't want to deal with the hassle of sending stuff back over. Hmm. Hmm. Just under a month and I'm gone, huh? Time really feels like it has no meaning anymore. I swear January was only a week or so ago. Ooh, that's relatable. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna how I'm gonna cope with being back home. It's not like there's nothing to look forward to. I get to have good food, see my family and cats, some friends I haven't seen in years. Even with all that, I still want to stay here as long as I can. One simple okay from the home office would solve all would solve all this, and yet, if I could stay, I'd be able to sort out, you know, in time. I'm surrounded by good people who'd be willing to help me. Eventually, I'd figure out what it is I actually want to do. How does everyone else manage to choose what they want to do for life? I mean, I'm still in my early 20s, paving a path for the next 60 years of your life. It's so daunting. Ugh. Once I'm back, I should... I should go have a real, really good night out in Hokkaido. Pass out in the snow without anyone knowing. I think you would die there, no? You pass out in the snow? At night? Overnight? Um... What am I saying? Drown in my own sorrows? I keep looking for an easy way out. It's not that simple, though. People would miss me. True? Besides, I don't deserve to go out with a bang. Others have it so much worse. I'm broken record. I just want to- uh, 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 huh? Want to end it all? Everyone has it worse than me. I shouldn't complain. I'm an awful person. Rinse and repeat. No. I don't really know how to express any of this to anyone. I don't want people to be worried about me. I mean, probably everyone feels this way at some point, right? Like, it can't be that I'm just being weird. Whatever. No point in getting bo bogged down in it. I'll only upset myself more and bring down everyone else's mood. Jesus! Game just dropped! Game just dropped it on us. Oh my god. Sorry I disappeared. I wasn't feeling too well. That's okay. Hope you're doing okay. Bit too much to drink, I think. Mixing your drinks probably didn't help. Oof. You called out. Yeah, I guess I was excited to see everyone and overdid it. Are you coming to bed? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty exhausted. I'm not surprised. It's been a long night. A long day. It was good to see everyone before we move out. Yeah, I hope we can get- I hope we can do another get-together before I head back and all. Um... 
Once I have some money, I'll come visit you in Japan. I don't want to be back there, but I can't wait to show you around. Take you to a baseball game, eat some real food, go visit my family in the south. What is that? What's happening? I'm sure you'll be a great guide, and besides, it'll be good for me to get out of London too. I'm starting to feel choked by the city. Oh, I thought that was a glitch for a second. I was like, what the hell? I mean, but wasn't that the plan? I'd find a way to come back here and we'd live together again? Um... Well, sure, but I didn't realize it'd have to be in London. I just thought... I don't know, Tokyo, London, it's all the same problem. Different cultures, the same problems. I, I don't understand. I'd give anything to stay. All of our friends are here. Um... I've lived here my whole life, it's not easy. What does that mean? Just look at how Peckham and Camberwell have changed over the last few years. You can see it, right? This whole city's being, being more hostile, and it's the poor who get pushed out. Oh, you mean trendy art students drinking beers in bars with wooden pallets for seats, buying artisanal donuts? Um... You mean us? I'm not so sure. I mean, we do have the wooden pallets. Yeah, but it's different, right? We couldn't afford a sofa bed. I do think we're complicit, whether we like it or not. People like us move into cheaper areas and suddenly landlords start paying attention. Knowing what to do about it is the problem. I feel like the only actionable solution offered is this all-out revolution. Maybe, but what does revolution even mean? And actionable how? I mean, I get it. You can't just treat symptoms when someone's bleeding out on the floor. I just wish I had something more vague preaching. More than vague preaching. I don't even know how to organize. Where th where the hell would revolution even lead us? Sure, down with capitalism or whatever, but there has to be more than that we can do now. I guess we missed that module during university. <laughs> We could have made more of an effort ourselves. I just wish there was more available. I tried going to the Marxist society once and they just spent the whole time bickering amongst themselves. We should have started something ourselves. Ooh, what's going on up there? What's going on? Oh, we were barely getting our essays handed in on time. I think you can cut us a little slack. Um, I suppose we did have a lot on our plates. At least we were lucky with this place. Good thing the landlord never checked in on us. He might have been surprised to find four people living here. Ah, I guess we were lucky having this place at such low rent for such a long time. I never met the landlord, but I remember the estate agent saying that he didn't want to extort tenants. I used to think my fiery lord road landlord was decent, so that's what we have to rely on, that kind nature of landlords. I mean, these flats were all designed and built for the doctors and nurses working over the road. God knows what's happened between now and then. Investment opportunity, I guess. God, get a real job. Huh, I remember that night we talked about struggling with the feeling of being bound to a certain path. Damn, these are deep talks that they have. Like, you have your one thing, and that's your thing? Yeah, you remember, right? That sounds like most of our conversations. I was probably drunk. Well, I've been thinking about it a lot, and I feel like I'm more lost than ever with what my thing even is. I thought uni would give me a pretty clear idea, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. Oh, for sure, yeah. I feel guilty spending four years here only to have nothing to show for it. Like, what would her parents think? Genuinely don't know what to do from here. Mm. The people I grew up with, you only have one plan, if any. There's no plan B. You know, it's like with this art stuff. It better work out because I don't have anything else. This is all I'm good at and I don't have the time or resources to just retrain. You have to get it right first time. Or, well... You know, that's you done. What was your plan A? I'm not sure. I can only really call it a plan in hindsight. 
There was nothing you were working towards? Nah, I just felt like this was something I was okay at, right? And so I could just keep going until I got better, and eventually that'd have to lead to something, right? I do sometimes wonder, though, if I should have just abandoned art at school and followed in my father's footsteps. Is it not still an option? Wouldn't that be sad to give up on your whole thing? Is that not still an option? Feels too late now. I know nothing about the trade. I always got the feeling my dad was a little disappointed I didn't. I just feel like that's a feeling all university graduates have. I mean, I came from a family of creatives. Everyone apart from me has a job in advertising, but what if I'm not cut out for it? Hmm, you don't think you could manage? I wouldn't be able to keep things straight. I mean, just take the, st the state of my desk, for example. I'm sure you'd procrastinate less if you were being paid. <laughs> That's the thing though, I'd be paid to do it like a professional. My dad's a pretty prominent director in the advertisement industry. I'd rather not slather his name in dirt. Hmm. I mean, Al, you're always telling me how I don't know until I've tried. Ugh, don't cleverly use my own advice against me. I know you're right, or I'm right, but I just don't feel like I've grown into the person that my parents expected to be. But you have grown, though, even in the short time I've gotten to know you. University was a huge learning curve for us, and I'm certainly not the same person I was four years ago. I guess I just had these idea of who I would be after all this. I think I surprised my family in a lot of ways. They still struggle with my pronouns, and I don't know, you kind of inherit their norms and values, right? Oh, for sure. It scares me. You pick up parts of them, whether you want to or not. It's, I mean, more of a social inheritance. <laughs> oh, I just want to get things right. Me too. Like, I think they always expected I'd get a good, respectable job and settle down with a good wife. I don't think they resent me for it, but you can feel it, right? Yeah, I know what you mean. I think my parents would be chill with a lot of things, though, since none of us are particularly normal, strictly speaking. Uh... Eccentric might be better fitting than not normal. Yeah. Well, they mean the exact same thing back at home. We even have the saying something like, a nail that sticks out gets hammered down. Jesus, that's terrifying. But I guess our education system does a pretty good job of that, too. Obviously, there are the exceptions, but the general consensus there is conform, don't complain. My parents would forgive me if I never settled down with a beautiful husband in a beautiful house, but I'd be deemed a social pariah. I suppose as a universal experience. What did you expect, colonizer? There is something in not fitting in, though. Being an outsider is a direct attack on the status quo. Right? Existing as praxis? Even so, I wish I had that sense of belonging. The only people who don't take me for some kind of joke are the friends I've made here. Whenever I catch up with high school friends, all they have to say about me is how I'm so quirky, so artsy. Uh... How well can they actually know you if that's all they have to say? You grew up, and they didn't. Or just didn't go the same way as you. Right? sometimes scares me how little people change. For an international school, it sure was homogenous. You can afford to stay all the same, if you have money. If you're set on the right track, put into all the right schools, given all the right connections, then you're rarely exposed to failure. Well, I went to school with them, how come I'm such a failure? Those systems are rigid, some people just slip through. Your friends seem a lot richer than your parents. Ugh. No, no, no. We don't do the first option. No, 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 no. <laughs> or maybe I just didn't pay enough attention in class. I'm really not sure what lessons I learned here. If any, I feel like I've learned to be lucky. I'm sure you've learned plenty of skills over the past few years. Well, sure, but will they actually get me anywhere? I feel like there must be some universal puzzle that I'm yet to figure out. You seem, you seem to be doing alright so far. Like... Yeah, we're not sure what to do next, but we've graduated, right? That counts for something. 
Well, I mean, look at me. I really put all my eggs into one basket. You know, when I applied for university, I only picked one option. Christ, I did the same thing applying for foundation. I mean, don't people have that one place they set their heart on? I'm not sure I understand. It's not that simple. It's like, I'll set my sights on something and it's this all or nothing type deal. I feel like I'm just begging to trip up and fail real hard one of these days. Mm. Well, maybe not, but I never really explored my options while I had the chance. You had other options? I guess I never really felt like I had any. I gave up on all my non-creative courses during sixth form. Could have done something else, I was just bad at the exams. What sort of paths do you think you might have gone down? Uh... Into my sociology course? I didn't know you studied sociology. To be honest, I don't really know what it is. It's just about people, really. You know, we live in a society. Is that a Joker reference? Hmm. But it really helped give me different lenses to view the world with. I wish I kept reading. You still could, couldn't you? Uh, right? Yeah, you still could, couldn't you? I've always struggled with reading, what with my dyspraxia and dyslexia. It just seems like such a shame, since you enjoyed it so much. It feels sad to give up on it completely. I mean, it was really good, it was just too much for me to keep up with at once. Something had to give, and I seemed to have the most grip on my visual work. <laughs> the clown emoji. I just can't get past this feeling of flatness. It's like the only paths I see are straight and narrow, and I just don't want to live that way. Not even to reach an eventual goal? Things have to open up someday. I'll intend to try, because what other options do I have? But the thought of it makes me so terribly sad. What about it makes you sad? Hmm. Lack of motion. But you said yourself, it's a path. Surely you have to walk down, walk along that path? Perhaps, but when that path is so flat, it feels like you've gone nowhere at all. How can you be so sure that this is, there's only this one path? So maybe there isn't just one path, but there's like four of them. But they're all much the same. None of them have any depth. I feel like I've arrived at life's train station, but instead of a season pass, all I have is this tattered lottery ticket. And so I spend my days checking the timetable, watching everyone else leave the station. But there's a chance though. Don't you think it's worth holding on to that? Oh, I cling to it because it's all I've got. <laughs> I do know, Bo, I'm trying to. I don't know what I'm doing either. You say you're stuck at the station, but I'm lost in the forest. I'd follow any path I can take. These last few weeks, I don't know what's been going on. lost any sense of time. <laughs> We've been spending too much time in our own heads. I've certainly been doing all my living up here in my skull. Too much time in this place in this flat. You're always saying we should get one more. Get out one more? We should get out more? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> well, I'm always right, Bo. We're both guilty, though. I haven't been myself either. Full of self-pity, self-loathing. You know, we can always talk about it, right? I know. I can't say why I haven't. I've always mean I always mean to do all these things, but I just end up pushing them back. Can't quite summon the will. Um I've been no better. Alright. You can talk to me too. I've been trying to be strong because I felt like you were too. Yeah, okay. Let's make a deal. From now on we'll talk about everything, alright? We're gonna need to- we're gonna need to more than ever once I'm on the other side of the world. It's gonna be a lot to get used to, huh? Remember when we spent that whole summer texting each other? It's gonna be a lot longer than a summer this time, end of second year, right? End of second year, right? After I moved out of Ferry Road. I never felt that way about anyone before. Fresh-faced baby owl. Shut up. Everything we've built still feels so unfinished. Yeah, there's so much we plan to do with this flat. Mm. 
that junk in the corridor. God, I was always stuffing my toe on something in the corridor. I suppose at least the cats had fun hiding in it. I don't even know who most of that stuff belonged to. Feels like it's been a long day. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah. Mmm. A long few weeks, but not long enough though. I'll drink to that. Mmm. We should probably give these sheets a wash. I don't think we washed these since we started panicking about moving. Yeah, we've lost our routine. Let's just wash everything tomorrow. It'd be nice to feel fresh. Mind if we get Chinese takeout tomorrow? Sure, I don't think any of us feel like cooking. Let's order a bunch so we don't have to worry about cooking the following day. I don't know if I want that much Chinese food consecutively. That's because you're a big baby. Hmm, I can't think of anything else. How many journeys there and back do you think we'd have to do in your dad's van? Moving stuff? I don't know. Two should do, hopefully. It'd be weird seeing everything all packed in the van. Wouldn't one of us have to get the tube, if there are only two seats? Hmm, I hadn't thought about that. We'll think of something. I don't mind taking the train. Nah, we'll squeeze in somehow. I don't even want to think about unpacking all that stuff. I can't even imagine dealing with all this huge mattress. Ugh, yeah. Amongst everything else, too. Like, what are we going to do with your wardrobe? That thing looks super heavy. Bo? Oh, you fell asleep. Guess I'll get some rest, too. It must be pretty late in the AM now. Thanks for chatting, Bo. Unique names? Definitely. Maybe they're just A and B. <laughs> they're cute, though. They're very cute. I kind of want to know what that alien ball was in the in the beginning. Very unique names though. I agree. I agree. Try to sleep. All right. Let's leave then. We go. We go. Hope you're doing well, Iruka though. Hope you're doing good. Oh, everything's packed up here. Look at that. Oh, wait, and this door's open. <gasps> Are we gonna go outside? Are we gonna go touch grass? We're gonna go touch grass. Grass! Oh, we can leave home. Doing the moving now? I'm doing decent. That's good. Procrastinating on taxes. Oh, man, my workplace just sent us our, uh, our tax documents. <laughs> I saw the email like, oh, no, it's that time again. It's that time of year again. There you are. Couldn't sleep? Uh, wanted to get some fresh air, you know? Yeah, me too. We've been cooped inside for too long. We probably got far too comfortable. You think so? I mean, I've always known I'd have to go back to Japan. I suppose, but so have I. I convinced myself we'd work things out somehow. That I get a job. I wish I had just a little bit more time. The government are trying to shorten international students' stay. I heard about that. I don't think it's your fault. Feels like it's all rigged against us. It's certainly not easy. We're doing what we can. Why don't we take a walk? Well, it's the middle of the night, but I won't be getting sleep anytime soon. <gasps> ah! Middle of the night walks are so nice. In in a safe, protected area, of course. The very yeah. I used to do that in university. Around camp ar around campus and like the parts around the university. The street was always surprisingly quiet, despite being right next to the hospital. Or London in general, really. I feel like I'm able to filter out all the noise. Maybe I've just been living in the city for too long. 
I'm starting to feel like maybe I've learned all I can from London. At least for now. I don't know. I'd give pretty much anything to stay here. I feel like I've really only just started learning. I've been here all my life. Four years isn't that long when you look at it that way, especially when you're getting when you're busy getting an education. I know you have. It definitely took me a while to grow out of stuff, you know? I think I used to be pretty close-minded. Oh. Oh. Things look a lot more desolate here. What happened? I didn't even get to properly talk. I didn't even get properly talking until the end of second year. I always thought you were part of the cool group. But really? That must have changed once you actually got to know me. Not really, I just knew you better. I always worried that people would think that I thought I was better than them. Why? I don't know, I was quiet and aloof. You can seem distant sometimes, I feel like I got the impression you just consider your words. I think some people misunderstand that distance though. <laughs> Always the mysterious one. That's the thing, I don't want to be. I just get scared. Talking is difficult, you know? I don't want people to take me the wrong way. I just kind of say things, I don't really think. Maybe that's bad? I think you're probably just thinking too much about thinking too much. I used to think silence was this mark of intelligence or contemplation. I think a lot of us think that, but if you're so wrapped up in your own thoughts that you never express yourself, then it's like, who are you? I'm just a dummy, so I don't really know about all that, but I think you're cool. So you're cool. Oh, that's cute. Are they going into the forest? You're not though. Huh? You're not stupid. I could put more thought into things. We all could. It's just understanding the right things, perhaps. You are right though. You've grown a lot since I met you. We both have. I can remember when we were both too scared to talk to each other. It freaks me out how little time it's been since then. It freaks my nut out. What is that? What is that saying? <laughs> About a year now? Our anniversary will be coming up pretty soon. Oh, Cute! Feels so much longer than a year. Yeah. I guess we've gone through a lot of changes. You sure you can't hang around for Christmas? Only if you want immigration police coming too. I guess not. okay right we are right it's gonna be rough our paths will have to run parallel for a while we'll be okay we'll know where to find each other is it soon i'll try i know oh i still don't really know the uh premise of the game it was just a lot of end of university, everything's changing dialogue. I guess maybe that's the point of this game? I think they did really well capturing how uncertain the end of like post-secondary is. It's just a lot of stress and a lot of sadness. They ended it on a pretty happy note though I'd say that's pretty nice hmm. unknown geometry I kind of wish we figured out what that uh what the weird things were there was that green monster that I'm assuming was part of Ao's mentality 
And then there was that weird alien ball of things floating on top of the bed in the beginning. It was interesting though. I wish there was like more of that sort of components, the, the weird components in it. But they also never like, they, they also never really to told us anything about that. So it was tough. Yeah, it was a deep game. I wonder if there's any like lore analysis out there for this game. Be interesting to look into. Very symbolic. I think I think my uh my English teachers back in high school would have a field day with this one. Like symbolism. This means that. Oh my god. I can see the assignments right now. <laughs> but the art style was really nice. The art style, the the kind of music, the background stuff, yeah. And like the way it animated really smoothly from or like between scenes, that was really nice. Caught me way the hell off guard though in the beginning. I was like, what's happening? Things are happening. <laughs> oh man. Damn, that's a lot of Kickstarter backers. I don't know. I feel like it could have done a little bit better in terms of like having a story, but I think it did pretty well. Hydration and posture check. Yes, thank you, Ace. Thank you, thank you. Uh-uh. Hair package for me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think... Um, I'm only hopping in for a quick high before bed. No worries. I'm actually about to end soon anyways, because I've got a bunch of IRL stuff to do as well. But thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think they could have done a little bit better on, um, choose my character, on, on story, um, but it's all good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I want your character to be happy. <laughs> Super happy. I remember this toggle off the top of my head. I don't remember any of the other toggles. It looks so weird when I start speaking. What is that black thing? There's this, like, black thing on the top of, like, my teeth. What is that? What is that? There's, like, this black pixel. These black pixels, what are they? Holy shit. I got so many cavities. That face scares me. Yeah, it's a little bit too, uh, too happy. It's just a little bit too creepy. <laughs> uh... I don't- I don't remember what other toggles I have for this. I think I did the- the full, like, expression range, but the program that I'm using does a little bit, um, better in terms of reading what kind of facial expressions I have. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this one's kind of creepy, though. This one's nice if it's just, like, a picture. But, like, when I start speaking with it, it's a little bit y yap it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh... But yes, <laughs> thank you guys for being here and chatting and hanging out. It's been super fun. Um, I don't know. I'm probably going to stream on Saturday. Yes, I have a stream scheduled for Saturday. We will be playing Hogwarts. I'm going to figure out now what my house is. I used to be Gryffindor, but I feel like that's changed. Um, but yes, we'll be playing through Hogwarts Legacy. Um, and yeah. We'll see. We'll see. There's a, there's a lot of exciting things happening soon. Hopefully I'll be able to talk about it on Saturday. But yeah, yeah. For now, I'm going to head off and uh, go run and get some groceries because the grocery store is going to close in an hour. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head out now. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night, whatever time it is where you are. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>